What's up everyone, this is Jorge Yao here again with another Clash of Clans video. Now in this video I wanted to discuss something what I like to call a whale dash. Now a whale dash happens really rarely and it only happens after a maintenance break. So I'm fast forwarding right now uh, as you can see where Supercell's on a maintenance break and I'm trying to get in as fast as possible. Now the reason behind that is I want to try to get in as fast as possible, I want to get my troops ready and basically I want to dash to the matchmaking queue to see uh, what kind of whales I can find. Now the, the, what, the reason why uh, Supercell implemented that 3 minute cooldown in terms of being able to attack someone is because it's really not fair if someone can log in a little bit sooner than you can or even like a few seconds makes a huge difference. So before you would find players getting attacked right away basically before they can even log in and that's kind of not fair. So they give you three minutes or three and a half minutes for you to basically train up your troops, make sure you have your defense or even just you know stay online. So that gives you the opportunity. But because the veins, the maintenance breaks have um, are not definitive in terms of how long they are uh, what happens is players who are online who uh, normally are ending their session or can't play um, or having issues connecting um, will end up either going defense right when the maintenance break ends. So this is when everyone, so you can see in clan chat everyone's getting ready, everyone's getting ready, you know they're training their troops up, they're making sure that they have their army composition in which case in this army composition I go with my regular uh, dragon strat, 11 drags, 3 balloons, 2 minions, 1 archer. Um, a Lava Loon in the CC, um, a little bit different on the spells, I use 3 Rage and 2 Lightnings on this one because I want to try to get the 2 star. So as you can see now, I'm spamming the find a match button, it has a 3 minute cooldown but uh, it's got a minute and a half left and I'm spamming it, I'm spamming it because what you really want to do is you want to go into the matchmaking queue as fast as possible because the first available match that you get paired up with is usually the highest cup offer that's available. Now some people like to use the revenge button and go through the revenge list and it works. That's basically the only time you're, you're able to revenge someone. But for me, I feel like it's a hit or miss kind of thing. So I'd rather take my chances in the matchmaking pool and go that way. So that's why I don't do the revenge thing. I go in, I try to go in the matchmaking pool. So let's fast forward this a little bit because it is, you know, just a timer. So let's fast forward this and try to get to, you know, the five second countdown and then boom, we'll find a match. So it's counting down five, four, three, two, one, boom. I'm into the queue. Right away I find a base and it's worth 22 cups and 22 cups is huge when you're at 4800 trophies that that's considered a whale so and that never ever happens where you know at 4800 trophies um, that you go in the matchmaking queue and you find a base immediately you know normally 100% of the time 99% of the time you'll be in the clouds for at least you know a certain period of time before you find a battle. So in this battle, you know, um, you know, I drop my normal composition. I drop my CC Lava Hound with the balloons and rage them to take out the first air defense. Now I don't have my three lightning spells, so I'm relying on another rage spell with dragons. I fan my dragons in the bottom. I use the dragons to kind of take out the the other air defense. Now this is a riskier strat because if you can't take out that air defense, uh, you're kind of much screwed because uh, you really need to take that out. Otherwise, your dragons are kind of stalled or they just they just take heavy, heavy damage. Um, the other thing is, but the beauty of this strategy is if you can pull it off perfectly, you have those extra two free spells and extra rage spell, which comes in handy if you want a two star base. Now, the reason why uh, this is kind of a risky slash dash, as I like to call it, is because you're really dashing and the, your adrenaline's kind of pumping while you're while you're attacking, and you want to try to get through as many attacks as possible in that short window where everyone's kind of logged off or the whales are around. So I'm just trying to. So I, I one star the base. I didn't want to go for the two star. I know I couldn't go for the two star, but really I wanted to go right back into the queue. So. Uh, so what you're watching right now is basically me trying to train up my troops as fast as possible. I'm requesting uh, a CC uh, Lava Hound and I'm basically trying to get into the queue as fast as possible because basically you have a five minute window where you'll find a base pretty quickly. Beyond that, you know, once you hit the 10 minute mark, it's really hard at, to find a base and it's, the clouds are back to the normal clouds as you can see now. But uh, in a second, you'll see that I actually do find another base quite soon. Um, it's not a huge whale, it's, it's 
still a, it's still a base though so I did at least I found something so as you can see my North 44 members Goofy who was a, our old clan leader is asking oh did you find something and I said yes 22 copper but I only one starred it but as you can see you know people are three starring a whale for 32 cops and boom another another base now this base is obviously not a whale it's a one copper but at 4800 trophies I'm basically attacking every single base that I can find and I'll be just I'll be just be happy to find bases essentially so in this base, I'm using the same composition, and you know I do the same exact attack strategy. I use the lava hound, so it's kind of like a lava loonian, but it's lava loon dragon. I would call it maybe. I don't know. You guys can come up with the term yourself. But it's a little hybrid. Um, again, it's a riskier strat. Sometimes you have to use a freeze on one of the uh, air defenses uh, just in case, because if the air defenses are too close to the core where they're basically mowing down your dragons before they can reach them uh, your, you, your dragons will pretty much die and you're gonna be left with really low percentage so the goal with dragon attack is you really want to get to around 45 between 45 and hopefully get the one star without even heroes right so in this case you can see I got the one star and I just I literally just left the battle because it was only worth one trophy, so why go for it anymore? And I'm trying to trade my troops as fast as possible because, again, like I said before, you only have a certain amount of window where you can find bases. So I'm I'm hoping for another base. I'm hoping for another base, and so I'm trying to train troops as fast as possible. In this case, I don't find another base for another while, and the clouds kind of go back to normal. So uh, unfortunately, you know, I missed my window, but I was still extremely happy to find those two bases: a 22 copper and a one copper. So that, that does it for this video, I just wanted to show you guys. If you liked the video, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like. And I'll see you on the next video.